So you're sitting there starting a new project and you've got two tabs open. One says React, the most popular framework. The other says Svelte, the framework you actually enjoy using. And you're thinking, which one do I pick? Well, today we're going to settle this once and for all. No sugarcoating, no corporate talk. Just pure, unfiltered comparison of React versus Svelte with Svelte Kit. We'll be talking about performance, developer experience, the ecosystem, and everything in between. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one deserves your time. So, let's go. The Philosophy War Before we write a single line of code, we need to talk about philosophy because these two frameworks think about the web in completely different ways. React 19 is still React. It's a library, not a framework. It believes in the virtual DOM component composition, and now with React 19, they're doubling down on server components and async rendering. React wants you to think in terms of UI as a function of state. Everything is JavaScript. Your HTML? JavaScript. Your styling? Probably JavaScript. Your coffee order? Might as well be JavaScript at this point. Svelte 5, on the other hand, says, you know what? The browser is already pretty good at updating the DOM. So instead of shipping a virtual DOM to the client, Svelte compiles your code at build time into tiny, surgical vanilla JavaScript. It's a compiler first, framework second. And with Svelte 5, they introduced Runes, a new reactivity system that makes state management feel, dare I say, pleasant. Here's the thing, React is explicit. You see use state, use effect, use memo everywhere. You know exactly what's happening. Svelte is implicit. Variables are just reactive. No hooks, no boilerplate. It feels like magic until you need to debug it. Syntax showdown. All right, let's look at actual code because that's what matters. Here's a simple counter in React 19. Pretty standard. You've seen this a million times. Now here's the same thing in Svelte 5 with runes. Look at that. No imports, no function wrapper, just code. You can literally write count plus plus and it works. In React, you'd need set count like this or like this just to be safe. Now let's take a look on derived state in React. And this is how it looks in Svelte 5. Both of these works. React is more verbose but explicit. Svelte is cleaner but you need to learn their syntax. Neither is objectively better, it's preference. But here's where it gets spicy. Effects. Side effects are where both frameworks get messy. Svelte automatically tracks dependencies while React makes you declare them. I've seen senior developers mess up dependency arrays, but I've also seen Svelte's auto tracking cause unexpected reruns. So I would say pick your poison carefully. Performance. Let's talk performance because this is where things get interesting. Svelte 5 ships less JavaScript to the client, period. A basic Svelte app might be just three to five kilobytes in gzip format. On the other hand, the React runtime alone is around 42 kilobytes in gzip format. Now, React fans will say, but that's shared across your whole app. Sure. But Svelte doesn't need a runtime at all for basic components. Benchmarks from JS Framework Benchmarks show Svelte 5 is consistently faster at DOM operations. We're talking 10 to 20 times faster in most cases. React 19 with the compiler helps close the gap, but Svelte still wins in raw speed. But here's the reality check. For most apps, this doesn't matter. Your bottleneck is probably API calls, database queries, or a massive image you might be loading, but not the framework. Where it does matter is the bundle size for initial load. If you're building a marketing site or a small app, Svelte's smaller bundle is a real advantage. Your 3G users will thank you. React 19 introduced the React compiler to optimize re-renders automatically. Before this, you had to manually memoize everything with React Memo, Use Memo, and Use Callback. The compiler does this for you now. It's a game changer. But Svelte never needed this because it compiles away reactivity. Server Side Rendering React 19 with Next.js gives you server components. These are components that render entirely on the server and ship zero JavaScript to the client. It's powerful but complicated. You have Use Client Directives server client boundaries, and a mental model that takes time to grasp. Svelte Kit has had server-side rendering since day one, and it's beautifully simple. You write .server.js files for server-only code, and everything else can be universal. Load functions run on the server, 
data flows naturally to components. No use server or use client confusion. Here's a hot take. React server components are more powerful but way harder to understand. SvelteKit's approach is less magical but more intuitive. If you're building a content-heavy site, SvelteKit is easier. If you're building a complex app with partial interactivity, React server components give you more control. Ecosystem and community. This is where React just wins by sheer numbers. React has over 13 million weekly NPM downloads, Svelte, around 650,000. That's a 20 times difference. Need a date picker, React has 50 options, Svelte has maybe five. Need a complex data table, React has TAN stack table, AG grid, and a dozen others battle tested in production. Svelte, you might be building it yourself. Job market, React is everywhere. Every company uses React. Svelte jobs exist, but they're rare. If you're learning for career purposes, React is the safer bet. But here's the counterpoint. Svelte's smaller ecosystem means less decision fatigue. In React, you need to choose package for everything like Redux, Zustand, Jotai, or Context for state management. CSS modules, styled components, Tailwind, CSS and JS for styling, Formic, React hook, form uncontrol for forms, and believe me, it's exhausting. Svelte says, here's Svelte kit, here's stores for state, here's scoped styling built in, less choice, but less headache. The React ecosystem is a massive strength and a massive weakness. You can build anything, but you'll spend days just picking libraries. TypeScript support. Both support TypeScript, but the experience is different. React 19 with TypeScript is mature. Types for hooks, components, props all rock solid. The community has spent years refining these types. Svelte 5 with TypeScript works well but has quirks. The state runes need proper type annotations. Generic components are less elegant, but it's getting better fast. React wins here slightly just because of ecosystem maturity, but Svelte 5's TypeScript support is totally production ready. Developer experience. Let's talk about actually writing code every day. Svelte feels faster to write, less boilerplate, less ceremony. You don't think about re-renders or memoization. You just write code and it works. React makes you think more. Is this causing unnecessary re-renders? Should I wrap this in use callback? Is my dependency array correct? It's mental overhead. But that overhead also means you understand exactly what's happening. React's explicitness is a feature for large teams. When you're debugging a performance issue at 2 a.m., you'll appreciate knowing exactly when and why things re-render. Svelte's magic is beautiful until it's not. When reactivity doesn't trigger or triggers too often, debugging can be confusing. The compiled output is harder to reason about. Hot take. Svelte is better for solo developers or small teams who want to move fast. React is better for large teams who need predictability and explicit control. Learning curve. For absolute beginners, Svelte is easier. The syntax is closer to plain HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can be productive in hours. React has a steeper initial learning curve. JSX, hooks, the component lifecycle thinking in React. It takes days or weeks to feel comfortable. But here's the thing. Once you learn React, you understand patterns that apply everywhere. Functional programming concepts, immutability, component composition. These are valuable skills. Svelte is easier to start, but the knowledge is less transferable. Learning Svelte makes you better at Svelte. For someone new to web development, I'd say start with Svelte to stay motivated. For someone who wants to maximize career options, learn React. The migration story. Moving to React 19 from React 18, mostly painless. The ecosystem is mature. Migration guides are solid. Breaking changes are minimal. Moving to Svelte 5 from Svelte 4. They introduced runes, which is a big mental shift. Your old code works, but you'll want to refactor. It's neither terrible nor trivial. Both are great. React 19 is production ready, and so is Svelte 5. Real talk, when to use each. Use React if you're building a complex, large-scale application. If you need a massive ecosystem of libraries. If you're working with a large team. If you need hiring to be easy. If you want server components for granular control. If you're building something that needs to last more than five years with guaranteed community support, use Svelte if you want to ship less JavaScript. If you value developer happiness and speed, 
if you're a solo developer or a small team, if you're building content-heavy sites, if you want batteries included with Svelte Kit, if performance and bundle size are critical, if you want to actually enjoy writing front-end code, here's my brutal honest take. React isn't going anywhere. It's the safe choice, the boring choice, the choice your manager will approve. Svelte is the exciting choice, the modern choice, the choice that makes you remember why you liked web development in the first place. Neither is wrong. React has earned its dominance. Svelte has earned its hype. Final thoughts. So, which one should you pick? If you're learning right now and want a job tomorrow, learn React. If you're building a side project and want to have fun, try Svelte. If you're starting a startup, flip a coin honestly. Both will work. React has more resources when things go wrong. Svelte will get you to MVP faster. The real answer, learn both. Seriously, spend a weekend with each. Build the same app twice. You'll know which one clicks with your brain. The framework wars are dumb. Both React 19 and Svelte 5 are incredible pieces of engineering. We're spoiled for choice in 2025. Now stop watching YouTube and go build something. Whether it's with React or Svelte, just ship it. If this video helped you decide, smash that like button. Subscribe for more brutally honest developer content and drop a comment telling me which framework you're picking and why. See you in the next one.